north of Nouakchott, covering an area of 12,000 square kilometers, the Banque d'Aga National Park offers board and lodging to migratory birds. This sandy universe, with its windswept mudflats, is home to the Imragen people. This strange society, geographically and culturally cut off from the rest of Mauritania, is based entirely around the sea. The Imregen people have become hardened sand sailors and understand the caprices of the Atlantic better than anyone. As rugged as the desert they have learned to survive in, the Imregen people are known to integrate anyone willing to learn their ways into their community. The saying goes that you aren't born Imregen, you become it. That means a chance for Hamada, our apprentice fisherman from Nuakchot, to learn a new profession. About 1,500 Imregen people live in Bonk Daga, spread over eight rudimentary villages. Hamada has been told that the chief of Iwik village is an old fisherman called Nur. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm fine, thank you. You're in good health? Yes, thank God. What are you doing here? Well, I'd like to learn how to be a fisherman. Do you want to learn? We can't integrate you into our society without getting to know you first. You might be a thief, or you might have problems we don't know about. No, I have no problems. I just want to learn how to fish. I was told you're a good teacher and you have a lot of experience of the sea. All right, all right. Teaching you is not a problem, but first we need to see how you fare at sea and if you're honest. I won't disappoint you. Give us out with the nets and then we'll see about the rest. Stand on this side and help them haul it in. That's the best way to learn. We need to finish hauling in the net. And then? After that, we load it onto the truck. Go on, make sure it's properly untangled. Without any further formalities, Hamada joins the Imragen people, anxious to prove himself under the watchful eye of old Noor. Fishing is at the center of every concern here, every activity. The Imragen people spend all their time on land repairing materials and getting the boats ready. What are you doing? We're repairing this sail. It's called a pint. Where does the cloth come from? We buy the cloth in Nuakchot, and then we bring it here. We give it to the women because they're the ones who do the sewing. Next, we're going to raise the mast. You're going to help us. Noah has set up camp a few hundred meters from the village. He lives there with his four children and his wife, who is in charge of preparing the fish. The Imregen people sell most of their fish to fish merchants from New Akshot. The rest forms the basis of their diet in this totally arid environment. Welcome, Hamada. You can sleep in my tent for a while. What do you know about fishing? I've never been allowed on board a boat. I haven't been to sea yet. All right, let's start with that. God willing, tomorrow you will set sail with Salek. He'll show you a few navigation techniques. Is Selek the skipper? Yeah, he's in charge of the crew. 
is also my nephew. If you get on okay, I'll teach you other things afterwards. God willing. Noor owns two launch sailing boats. These boats are typical of the Bank Dagar region. He has entrusted one of his fishing boats to his nephew Salek, who is going to take Hamada under his wing today. The old man, accompanied by his eldest son, will oversee proceedings on the second launch. We need to straighten up the mast. How do you steer? Watch everything I do. It's not complicated, you'll see. These launches were brought to Mauritania by the Spanish. Then they were handed down to us, by our ancestors. The sails and the shape of the hull have been adapted to our sailing needs. Look how easy they are to control. And that's important for inching our way between the sandbanks. Come closer and take that. Push it towards me. Oh, that's good. Look straight ahead. Now put the tiller in the middle. Pull it towards you. And you feel how the wind direction's changed. Now it's coming from the other side. So push it towards me. Try to follow the lunch in front. Now pull it towards you if you want to go straight ahead. Look over there, those are sandbanks. You would definitely get stranded on them. You can wait hours for the tide to come back in. So those are the famous sandbanks. Straighten out the tiller. Pull it towards you. All right, wait. I'm going to need to take over here. Do you see? The channel is nicely marked out. For us, it's like a tarmac road. But if you go outside it, you've had it. Hamada, don't just sit there doing nothing. Go front and haul in the nets. Go on, haul it in. Hamada, try to pull more evenly. You're here to work. Untangle it as you pull. What sort of fish is that? That's tuna. That too. Today's been a good day. We've caught a lot of fish. We've nearly hauled in the whole net. Amada, you've worked hard today. What length of net have we hauled in? The net's 150 meters long. Put the fish in the hold. That's not bad at all. The sail isn't folded properly. Wait, I'll help you. Life as an Imralgan boy isn't easy. You start young, you're taken out on a boat. 
To teach you to swim, you're thrown into the water several times. You're made to haul in nets and taught how to maneuver the boat. It's hard work, but one day you finish learning and you can pass your knowledge on to the next generation. Noor is like a father to me. I met him when I was a small boy. He taught me some fishing techniques. And I continue to consult him today because there's still a lot more he can teach me. Who is this young man? It's me, Hamada, the star fisherman. He's still got a lot to learn. Don't throw me in the sea yet. I can't swim. Give me a bit more time. In one day with the Imregen people, Hamadar has learned more than in the past few months at Nuakshot Port. This arid-looking outpost might just represent a new departure for him. I've been very touched by the warm welcome the Imrigan people have extended to me. They've opened their doors to me and agreed to teach me their skills, which might allow me to make a living. So I'm going to stay here for a while. Why not? It might change the course of my life. The Imrigan people have realized that integrating outsiders into their community is essential to the survival of their traditions. Here, and in the rest of Mauritania, passing on these traditions is the only way for this culture to be kept alive.